use of crushed ice is crucial for many industries. Ice is used for preservation and reactants. Production of ice is highly energy intensive. The cost of energy as a percentage of end product cost varies anywhere between 48 to 54 percent. Conventionally, ice is produced in ice tanks by way of the ammonia refrigeration system. The conventional system suffers from low efficiency due to high power consumption in refrigeration compressor and other equipment like agitator and water pump. Lower ice plant capacity utilization results in low efficiency. Continuous operation of compressor is required to maintain the brine temperature below freezing. During lean periods, the block ice plant efficiency decreases leading to higher burton consumption. The ice produced is also of lower quality as leaking of ice cans results in ice with a high degree of salinity. An energy efficient alternative to conventional ice plants is the tube ice plant. The plant has the ice generator, which is the main part. The generator is a shell and tube vessel. There are shell that consists of water tubes with water distributors fitted on top of each tube. The refrigerant Ammonia fills the space between the tubes. The freezing process starts with ammonia being pumped from freezer into the condensing system. Liquid ammonia flows from condensing system to freezer. It constantly recirculates water through the vertical tubes of the freezer. Ice forms inside of the freezer tubes. During thawing, the solenoid controls hot gas from condensing system to enter freezer. In one minute, the long tube of ice comes out and is cut by rotating cutter and discharged through the opening in the water tank. In a tube ice plant, the harvesting and storage operations are automated. The replacement of conventional ice plants with tube ice plants leads to benefits such as improved energy efficiency, labor cost savings, flexible batch cycles, better quality of product, low operating cost, and minimal maintenance and use of less space. Uh, two buys takes approximately 20 minutes to make a batch of ice and takes approximately 20 to 25 percent less electricity as compared to traditional block ice plants. As the cost of electricity goes up, as cost of labor goes up, we find that two buys machines are uh, one of the best alternatives for meeting this need and ensuring that we can manufacture ice at the lowest possible cost. Industries such as chemical and dye manufacturers, ready mix concrete suppliers, seafood processors, poultry industry, bakery industry and the hospitality industry are some of the main users of the tube ice plants. For a 10 TPD tube ice plant, the investment required is 18 to 20 lakh rupees. The installation leads to a saving in electrical energy consumption by 4,000 to 6,000 kilowatt hour per month. Thus, the investment can be recovered within 2.5 years. The installation of technology leads to an energy saving of 6 tons of oil equivalent. The installation can lead to a monetary saving of 5 to 8 lakh rupees per year. Approximately 60 to 65 tons of carbon dioxide emission per year. Producing ice using a tube ice plant not only leads to energy efficient production of ice, but also ensures hygienic ice production. It also leads to process efficiency in some industries. If implemented in 100 units, the technology can lead to saving of 600 ton of oil equivalent of energy and 60,000 tons of carbon dioxide emission per year.